to the channel guys got something new here we're going to unbox for you and do a review on um, this is the icy breeze v2 pro portable air conditioner now this isn't a swap cooler this is a true air conditioner because it has a heat exchanger in it but we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what comes in the box it's packaged with some staples on the top of it so you gotta be careful opening it you don't want to ruin your nose and right on top looks like you got a owner's manual quick start guide you can see right there we got a couple boxes that comes with several options. We went with the uh, 10 amp hour lithium ion battery. And that looks like what's in this box right here. There's the battery right there. Almost looks like a DeWalt battery, but it is the uh, 10 amp hour lithium ion battery. Also has a adapter with it. Oh, this is the charger right here. This is the battery charger. Sit that over out of the way. Take this top off. And we got one other item in here. This is the wall outlet with the power brick. Set this on the floor and pull it up here and take a look at it. All right, there it is. Open it up. Get that out of there. So this is what she looks like. Got your control panel right there it's got the three speeds the battery goes right here you got your duct where you can extend out and aim it or push it right in there and then you got what looks like almost like what you'd see in your vehicle if you wanted to just use that so what we're going to do is kind of go through what we got here and then uh, we'll do a review on it we're going to put some ice on it or in it turn it on and, and see what she can do all right we're going to walk around here real quick and show you the parts of the icy breeze and kind of give you the operation on how to work it what i've done so far is i've put water there is a line um, down here and you fill the water up to that because basically the way this works is it takes and pumps water up through here into the heat exchanger and then dispels the water back out into the cooler and the heat exchanger basically has coils in it it's kind of like a radiator and there's a fan that blows across and that's how you get uh, uh, your cold air so that's what makes this not a swamp cooler that's what makes it a true air conditioner and basically you're substituting water for your freon so that is the inside operation of it basically here we've got the battery charging it has a 12 volt 10 amp hour battery you can also use it an ac adapter uh, to power it and basically what that does is you plug it right in here to the power port bear with me and then you have your operation controls right here you have a low medium and high your battery will slide right in there let me tilt this maybe where you can see it a little better and then you have your duct work where you can go straight out has a air conditioning type uh, car vent there on the end and then your hose right here but 
I have no ice in it right at the moment, but I will show you that we can turn it on. I don't have it plugged in. Let me plug it in here real quick. I'll let you look at the inside. Okay, it is all plugged in. So you turn it on low. You can hear it kick on. And there it goes. Now I'm going to show you the inside operation. As you can see, what it's doing. It's pulling water up through here, circulating it through the radiator, and then the water's coming back out into this hose. So we're going to take it into a room, put some ice into it, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use it and, and all the uses that this could be used for. I'm going to show you what I'm doing for ice. Got water bottles. Um, been in the freezer overnight. Got about 21 of them. So we put water in the bottom. And then I got these blocks of ice here to keep that water cold because the cold water is what um, lowers the temperature. So what I'm thinking is I can use these water bottles, have other water bottles um, in a bouge RV or in a freezer freezing so I can rotate them as these melt, put new ones in, and that way I always have a supply of water to keep this thing going. So we've got our ice in, and we're going to give it a, a test shot. And basically what I'm doing in here, this room is already somewhat cool. As you can see, it's running around 70, 68, 70 degrees. So we got our vent blocked off. Not a 100% accurate test, but um, I think it'll at least show you the power that it has because we got our we got our air conditioner vent shut off in this room, and we're going to see if we can maintain um, the temperature anyway. I'm using the EB70 to power it, and you can see I have it on a medium setting, and it is at 35 watts of uh, output power so doesn't really pull that much and that's on medium I'll show you what low and high is as well and there's the high setting pulls 51 watts as you can see if you're using this outside camping it doesn't pull a whole lot of energy and that's on the highest setting 51 watts all right, this is the low setting, pulling 27 watts on low. Not much power at all to run it. Okay, we got this on uh, running on high, so what we're going to do is, is uh, check in every half hour to hour, see if our temperature is, is dropping, and uh, we'll get into the reasons why we're looking to do that later on in the video but uh, basically this room started out at around almost 70 and it's still pretty close to that right now and been running maybe 10-15 minutes so we'll keep an eye on it and, and check back in and right now we're running it off the AC power through the uh, EB70 as we said earlier so we'll just keep checking in so we're about two hours into it and I had to do a little swapping um, and I'll show you what I did in the cooler but uh, it is dropping the temperature in this room so it's not only maintaining but it's also reducing the temperature and then uh, give me a second here we'll check the because the ice was melting in the water bottles so I just went to my refrigerator 
and got ice because the ice melting in the water bottles, the ones on top were not um, keeping the water as cold. But this is doing a lot better job. Get rid of the glare. 35 degrees coming out of there. Just looking at her temperature, it looks like it held. Uh, we're running on a little over three hours. And it dropped the temperature in the room and it held it to about uh, 65 degrees. So it started out, it was right around 68, so dropped three degrees. And again, this is kind of a controlled environment, but uh, uh, it did, did a good job. I also wanted to cover one of the things in the owner's manual. This comes with a real nice owner's manual that's made very well. Nice thick pages. But I was looking at the very back and I don't know if you can see that or not, but this has a lifetime guarantee. And basically what it says is it's a, um, if your IC Breeze ever needs repair, they'll provide parts to fix it for the lifetime of the unit. They call a rock solid lifetime warranty where your fault or ours, the IC Breeze, uh, Units are guaranteed against failure for the lifetime of the unit. So, seems like a good company. They're, they are an American company um, in Texas. The product's American made. So, that's one nice plus to have as well. Well, I'd assume you're wondering why we did this in a bedroom. But, uh, just to give you a little background while we purchased this, it's... Uh, uh, is a prep an item that you can use in the event of a power outage um, where you can isolate yourself in in a room if you lose your air conditioner um, but uh, one of the other reasons is is that my wife is in uh, um, the wedding business she's a photographer and does florals and and sometimes she brings flowers in and and um, the air conditioners in our home is going to kick on and off with uh, uh, the outside temperature in the hallway, not necessarily in this room. So this is a way to keep airflow going and keep in this room. Um, we'd like to keep it right around 60 or under 60. I closed the vent off in this experiment just to see what it would do. But uh, what we would do when she's putting flowers in here is we would leave that vent open um, and have the air going with this going to help draw up the temperature. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is to take it camping. Um, if you're in a tent, if you're van van camping or whatever, this would be a great um, air conditioner to have with you to keep you cool. And we went camping, like I said, a couple weeks ago, and we didn't have anything. We went tent camping. We hadn't done that in a long time, but uh, the temperature was kind of kind of hot. Uh, it was bearable though, but something like this would have made it a whole lot easier in a tent. So um, it's it's a good item. Uh, it's a good good product. One of the things I did learn though is I was going to try to use the water bottles, and they did work. It's not that they didn't work, but if you're stacking several water bottles on top, the ones that are actually in the water start to melt quicker. So the ones on top are not actually down in the water so you'd have to go in and rotate them and just seemed to be a little bit of a hassle so i scrapped that and just went to regular ice now what i might end up doing is is um freezing some bigger ice chunks but i think you want uh, um, ice in the water at all times so it's a very good unit i like it uh, i think it's a good purchase if anybody's out there um interested in something like this had my doubts but uh, as you saw this thing got down to you know 35 degrees it was blowing out of the vent so it did a really really good job 
Um, if you like the videos that we're doing here and the content, um, like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that. It helps us to grow and, and keep making videos if you like them. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this item, let me know. Uh, I will try to remember too, this does also come with a DC um, cigarette lighter plug. We didn't opt for that one because we went with the battery and the AC cord because we're going to use it a lot of times here in our home. So we wanted it to be able to plug into a wall. And if we do take it with us, we got the battery and we can also plug the AC into one of our uh, Blue Eddy products, EB70, you know, um, EB150, so forth. So you can get a cigarette lighter 12 volt port that'll plug in to a um, outlet in your vehicle, um, plug into the outlet of a portable solar power station. So there are other accessories that you can get with it, but basically what we went with was the, the battery and the, the AC outlet. Um, again, any questions, comments, leave them down below. We'll um, respond to you as quick as possible. And I thank you for watching. Thank you for your viewership and have a good night.